to grow healthy, you have to learn eating all kinds of different foods. This should include fruits, vegetables and whole grain cereals, as well as protein foods such as meat, fish, dairy, eggs, nuts, seeds and pulses. Look, let me show you. When I was born, it was important for my health and immune system that my mum breastfed me. From six months, as well as breastfeeding me, my mum also started introducing me to all kinds of different healthy foods. This meant I was eating a great variety of foods just like mum and dad, and so got all of the protein, calories, vitamins, fibre and minerals I needed. As well as being fun, experimenting with lots of healthy foods, eating foods like peanut and egg early on helped to stop me becoming allergic to them. I thought everyone ate like I did, but I noticed some of my friends, like Kathy, always preferred to eat the same food, whereas my lunchbox was always full of different foods. I knew that a healthy diet should have variety, with fruits, vegetables and whole grains being the most important foods. So why didn't everyone eat this way? I couldn't understand how eating only a limited number of foods could be healthy. Our teacher explained how all of the different nutrients in foods, including protein, healthy fats, vitamins, fibre and minerals, could affect our immune system. She also told us that the balance of different bacteria in our gut is called the microbiota. Eating lots of healthy foods helps our microbiota by providing the right fuel for the good bacteria in our gut. So trying many different healthy foods early on and avoiding unhealthy foods high in fat and sugar gives our immune system the best start in life and helps prevent allergic diseases. Just like a bus needs not only fuel, but also oil and water to run properly. So to keep our microbiota healthy, we don't just need calories and protein. We also need vitamins, fiber, iron, calcium and micronutrients. A healthy microbiota and the early introduction of foods also helps our immune system not to see these foods as a threat. My friend Kathy's diet has always been limited so not only is she missing out on important nutrients, her restricted diet might also affect her gut microbiota. Because I have always eaten a good variety of healthy foods since I was a baby, my gut microbiota are healthy and I'm less likely to get allergies. So as I got older, I experienced even more different foods, which helped me get stronger, mindful, resilient, and certain about what is good for me. So now it's your turn to experience even more than I did. Open wide. For more information, see the EAACI website for details, patients.eaaci.org.